Every year, we are gobsmacked of how talented the applicants are, the backgrounds they come from, just the sheer magnitude of where they're thinking. You know, we would think something like this size. They're already out here. The award committee, of course, sees nominees from all the institutions that ASSET works with. Out of those, all those institutions, we ask them, of course, to send in who they think are worthy of being recognized. Today's winner of the Capstone this year wasn't afraid to look at the world as it is today and go, how can we make this a better world? How can we make this a better application in our own discipline. You know, every year it's amazing the number of submissions that we get for the Capstone Award. Just absolutely incredible the work that uh, tech, that technicians and technologists across Alberta are doing. This year, one of them really stood out. And as Asset President, it's my honor to award the Capstone Project of the Year to Nate's Alternative Energy Technology and Wireless Systems Technology for their project, Sustainable Satellite Internet for the Developing World. For our capstones, we've really made an effort to have our students working with industry itself. And so there are real serious industry questions that need to be solved, and the students are getting a crack at real world problems. The project as defined was light up the world as, a, as an interest in the developing technology of Starlink and availability of internet from satellites. What we were interested in was what would it take to put in a Starlink modem in a remote part of Peru? Starlink is essentially anywhere in the world broadband. We were looking for a low-cost solution that nonprofit organizations and charities could take this and implement it in various locations around the world. When we first interacted with Light Up the World about this particular project, we thought it would be mostly energy related with maybe a little bit of communication. And as students were going through scope discovery, it was really evident that there were areas of expertise that they just didn't have within the alternative energy program. So they were happy to reach out to another team. Is the solar power piece, which is in Jim's area, alternative energy. The other piece of it is the communications. That's what we teach over in the wireless area here. Our side of the project included uh, creating a low cost, power efficient communication system that could be deployed easily in remote areas and this provided a basic internet source for the towns uh, that are in remote areas. In order to do that, we first had to wait for the results of the power data collection from the YSET program before we could start designing the renewable side of things. They had to plan this all out, put together the equipment, set it up, connect it, get it working, do data testing, measure signal levels, and pretend as if, well, this is somewhere in the middle of some country with some rough terrain in a, in a jungle. How are you going to deal with that? So we went from, we hope this will work, tell us how to do it, to it won't work, sorry, to, but here's another idea that will work, we think, to this works fantastically well and is going to be scalable across the world they can take on a problem and create real solutions. And that is exactly what industry is looking for. The potential for education and health are the two things that we identified as the, the keystones of why this is a beneficial project. When you can get uh, information in many different languages from whatever resources you may be able to find on the wider web, that opens doors for people. One of the students said, well, why don't we put a repeater on this and maybe they can sell the Starlink signal to their friends and neighbors, making a business out of it. If it's people in the developing world demanding access so that they can build a business around it, it'll take off in ways that we, we can't imagine. That was incredibly valuable and we were just really glad that the executive director of Light of the World was willing to entertain that this could spiral and it could go forward really, really nicely and, and, and fortunately for the students, they worked hard at it and worked, worked out really well. A little bit of a quote from Murray said it gave them a lot of credibility having it studied here at Nate. Some people actually looking at it closely and coming up with some solutions. Now he can go to people and say, we've actually studied this and this is going to work. Our solution is going to be used by Light Up the World for a Pathfinder project out in Saskatchewan connected to a Starlink and wireless ISP configuration, a large Wi-Fi network. 
a lot of First Nations don't have cell service, and to get it, they're going to have to invest millions of dollars. We think that perhaps the placement of Starlink modems can bridge the gap between no communications on reserve to pretty good communications on reserve. For Nate, this is absolutely a feather in our cap. You don't get better than we can actually change significantly for the better people's lives on other continents. Like, that's pretty impressive for a two-year diploma, and it, it's great that that's the kind of thing we do year in and year out. It's really important that ASSET recognizes high-quality projects like this, and the reason is that students, they, they can get excited about projects, and they, they're really interested in the technical aspect of it, but imagine just how much more excited they are when like there's, there's recognition at the end. There's actually asset is coming out and saying, that was a good job, you know, that's, that's a real reward. Knowing that our design and our planning, it's actually gonna make somebody's life better. So it's a wonderful feeling. I see this project and the recognition it's already received. I think I can look back on it and say, wow, we actually got to do something really special with our time here at Nate. Not only was this an educational experience in so many ways, but what came out of it was also a flexible, dynamic solution for a system that could potentially change lives around the world.